Hello everyone and welcome back to another Mortal Kombat Drip Ranking tier list. It's been a while since I've done one of these, so I think it's about time I make a new one. As you guys can probably already tell, we're going to be ranking all Smoke's appearances throughout the Mortal Kombat series. So let's get right into it. So just like the last couple of videos, I'm going to start from his first appearance and take a look at MK2 Smoke. This skin really isn't anything special, it's just kind of bland. It's still great because it's classic, but by today's standards, it's not really anything special. Nothing about it really screams Mortal Kombat to me, it didn't really have any personality yet. So for that reason, I think it's going to go in the immensely cringe category. It's not awful, but compared to all of his other appearances, this is definitely bottom tier. So this is definitely going in the immensely cringe category. Now we're going on to Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. After finding their footing for what they want the Mortal Kombat series to be, they really started injecting a little more personality into the character designs, and I think it really shines through with Cyborg Smoke. I love the purple, that really does a lot for me, it looks really fucking badass. I just love that classic, like, bulky kind of robot look they used to have. I would definitely love to see an appearance like this in MK1, hopefully they do a Cyborg Smoke to some extent, or we can unlock a Cyborg Smoke skin, that would be really fucking cool. But yeah, I really love this skin, so for now, I think this is gonna go in the dank category. It might go to the dankest, but we'll see. Now we have MK Trilogy Smoke. This one has a little bit more personality than MK2, but it's nothing special still. It's really bland and it just feels kind of uninspired overall. It was definitely a step back from Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 in my opinion. But again, it is slightly better than MK2, so I think this will go in the cringe category. Now we're getting into the really cool designs. People either love or hate MK Deception Smoke. For some people, it could probably be really over the top, but for me, it kind of hits that note of just looking pretty badass. It's really unique. It sets him apart from the other ninjas in the series. And I really just like the idea of him being like the embodiment of Smoke itself. The mask is cool. It kind of reminds me of Shredder Sub Zero in a way. And I just like the cheesy shoulder pads. It really has like a unique flair. And it kind of reminds me of an anime character in a way. You could throw him in a a lot of animes and you fit in pretty well. Overall, I really like this skin. I love the red eyes. I just love the concept. So I'm going to say this is in the dank category. Actually, this might go in the dankest category for now. It's pretty cool. Well, yeah, 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 congratulations. Congratulations. That's amazing. Now we have MK Shaolin Monk Smoke. This one, I haven't seen much of it in general. I never really paid much attention to it in Shaolin Monks, but it's really uh, ugly, I guess. It's not that cool looking, it just looks kind of thrown together and weird. I don't look at that and think smoke. It just doesn't look that cool. I think with a few changes it could be serviceable, but it's just, as it is, it's not really that great. It's just kind of bland, it almost looks worse than the classic skins in a way. It's like they took everything cool about NK to such a smoke and just kind of messed it up, you know? So for now I'm going to say this is in the immensely cringe category. It's pretty bad, I really don't like the skin at all. Now we have MK9 smoke. Overall, it seems that this look is really adored by the MK community. I'm not too much of a fan of it, it's a little over the top for me, but in a way it's still kind of bland to some extent. I don't really know what it is, I like the design, I like the concept of his hair just kind kind of flowing like smoke. It kind of has a bit of the MK Deception smoke vibe. It makes him with a more ninja appearance, but I don't really know. Something about this appearance just always kind of rubbed me the wrong way. I like it, but I feel like they just could have done something more to really bump it up, you know? So for now, I'll say this is in the decent category. It's really, it is in the decent category for me personally. And now we have MKX smoke. This is kind of a weird one because it's a tribord variation. So the design really didn't have too much of smoke's personality baked into it, but overall it looks really cool. It's really sleek. The alternate color variation of this was actually the UMK3 smoke, which was really cool. It was a really nice touch. It's not too over the top. I think this is definitely one of the best looks for the cyborgs, but I still, I really like that classic look to some extent. If I were to be playing as Triborg and there was a skin for the classic look, I would probably use that. But I really do like this design. It's really cool. So for that reason, I'll say this is in the Dan category. It fits in. It's a little lower than UMK3 smoke, but it's still pretty fucking cool. I really like Cyborg smoke. Now we have MK1 smoke. A lot of people are really debating how cool this skin is. Some people love it. Some people hate it, just like the Deception skin. But I don't know. I really don't know how to feel about this one. I really like how his mask kind of looks like a gas mask. And I love the simplicity of it too. It still looks a bit different from Scorpion Sub Zero and MK1, even though they're kind of all similar. I do think we'll end up getting an alternate version with like the flowy long hair that everyone's wanting. He kind of comes off as a young warrior that's just kind of getting his start in the world of like being a ninja, you know? Which I really like in a way. And I definitely think we'll see him change throughout the story to some extent. But I don't know. I actually do really like this skin. I like this appearance a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's in the dankest category. I don't know. I feel like I'm fucking up here. I don't know. Smoke's a difficult one to really place. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move MK Trilogy Smoke up to decent. I'm gonna take MK9 smoke and put it in dank at the very bottom. And I'm gonna take MK2 smoke and put him in cringe. And that'll just leave the Shell and Monk smoke in the immensely cringe category, which I really think is kind of fitting for that design. Here's what I'm gonna do, final answer here. I'm gonna put Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 smoke in the mix here. I'm gonna take MK1 smoke to the dankest, which I think is pretty fitting. Wait, can we switch that around? There we go. And, um, kind of looks like they're fighting each other. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm pretty happy with this ranking. This looks pretty good. So to recap, in the dankest category, we have MK1 Smoke in the number one spot, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 Smoke and MK Deception Smoke. In the dank category, we have MKX Smoke and MK9 Smoke. In the decent category, we have MK Trilogy Smoke. In the cringe category, we have MK2 Smoke. And in the loser immensely cringe category, we have MK Shaolin Monk Smoke, which is just bad. It's just awful. But yeah, guys, I'm pretty happy with this tier list. Be sure to let me know your guys' ranking down in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. And yeah, that's all for now, guys. I've got a lot more Mortal Kombat videos coming soon, so definitely stay tuned. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Be sure to like the video if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. I hope you all have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.